My first car was a Plymouth Caravelle. Just tinkering with that and then eventually got a different vehicle and kind of modifying and, you know, trying to be cool kind of stuff, so. I was a Chevy guy growing up and I had a Chevy Nova that I hot rodded. I grew up in the 70s, so. My grandpa had a 1993 Plymouth Acclaim that he always loved working on and I still own and I still work on today. Uh, a lot of my friends pushed me into the automotive industry when I was in high school, so I ended up taking uh, two years uh, in automotive tech, and then I ended up going to NDSCS in Wapton for two years, and that's where I kind of just fell in love with the uh, career. Vehicles are getting smarter. It takes a lot to understand how the stuff works, what's not working, you know, how to fix it and that kind of thing. And dealerships, they have good training for being able to understand that. Being here in the shop is really nice. Every tech is really nice. They, they're always willing to help out. Use all the resources you possibly can to learn, and don't be afraid to ask somebody that's been in the field for a while. On your free time in the shop, always go over to a master tech or someone that knows a little more about you. And even if it's just watching them, watch them. You'll always pick something up. Having the right tools for the right job really makes a difference. And then, you know, to service these vehicles under warranty and just in general, you have to have the right tools to do it. And otherwise you could have repeat repairs. And the dealership has a good selection of those specialty tools that you need to do the job. We have a lot of specialty GM tools and they almost have everyone that you ever need and are looking for. So it's always nice and labeled and organized in our tool room. So. Very helpful for that. When you get working in a shop situation, you find out what other guys have and what you need. You basically see what the guys that were there before use and then and you buy accordingly. Advice I would give to a new tech is just stick with it. You're not always gonna have the right answer. You're not going to know everything right off the bat. Some people takes longer, some people it doesn't take nearly as long. You know, the thing of it is, is my advice, stick with it. I just wanted to keep vehicles running. They're pieces of history that people are gonna look back on one day and wish they would have kept or had kept, and just the memories that come with them. This job means a lot to me just because I love when uh, I'm driving around Minot, especially the Minot area, and I can see all the cars that I've fixed. It just makes me feel a little bit better about myself and knowing that people are get to enjoy their second biggest investment. Mm -hmm.